Hey guys, it's John Moore, Jeff Wilson from the Rangers Today baseball podcast. We're up here in the press box. It's uh, Baltimore Orioles are in town. Yep. You just got back in this morning from yeah. Anaheim. Yeah, it was a rough one. <laughs> yeah, it was a rough one. Get back. So um, Trey Mancini traded while we were down here. I was. You weren't yeah. quite here yet. Yeah, you were yeah. coming in. Um, trade deadline Eve. That's what today is. It is. We'll talk about the Orioles series coming up and anything you think going to happen at all. No, um, not really. You know, I, I kind of at RangersToday.com on Sunday in the Sunday read. Uh, I kind of looked at some things that could happen. Yep. Um, and and. You know, the, I think Matt Moore is going to get traded. I don't yep. think the Rangers are going to sign anybody. Uh, I, I just think that the price is too high right now. Mm-hmm. I think the Luis Castillo deal, which which cost the Mariners three three of their top five prospects, including their number one prospect, I think that is uh, that priced them out. I think that 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 and not. I mean, he he has a year and a half of control, so the the Mariners get him for this year, which they're in it though. Year. Right, right, right. The Rangers are, are looking for guys who would have more control. Two years. Like Pablo Lopez from the Marlins and uh, Tariq Skubal from, from the Tigers, maybe just throwing those names out there. Right. Um, they have more control than that. And you think that, that those teams are going to give up those pitchers for anything less than Luis Castillo got? No. Uh, or, you know, no. The Reds got for Luis Castillo. So uh, I, I, th- I think the price is a little too high. I think in the offseason, the price will come down a little bit. Yeah, that's what I, I was think, thinking. I think that's maybe more when the Rangers – could, could strike some deals, you know. They're going to have some Rule Five guys they aren't going to be able to protect, uh, and and teams like, uh, you know, rebuilding teams could could protect them and would want them at that point. So right. I think maybe that's kind of uh, what what the Rangers are at least considering. Now, I mean, we could post this video and they could trade for Juan <laughs> Soto. Shit, I don't know. I, I know. I don't. I don't think that'll happen. Obviously, but um, you know, the one. I, like I said, I think Matt Moore will get traded. I proposed Matt Moore for Joey Gallo. Yeah, uh, which might have gotten scuttled a little bit today because the Yankees have acquired two relievers. Um, right. So anyway, but I, again, I think it's if anything's happened, it's not going to be uh, earth shattering, and that might disappoint some people. But um, you know, when when you look at the price, I just think that the Rangers don't want to do that. And you know, again, they they they've talked for two years now about the importance of building up a farm system. Yep. And to unload that kind of talent, even though the Rangers have. A, the best system they've had in a long, long time. To love that kind of talent, um, I don't know. It yep. just doesn't. It doesn't feel good. And you know, and 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 Martin Perez. I mean, people were wondering. I think the Rangers' plan is to extend Martin Perez. I, I don't know, but but they're not going to do that before five o'clock tomorrow. No, um, and you know, I don't. I don't think they're going to trade Martin. Uh, one of the one of the reasons why is the qualifying offer is is a thing again, and you know if. if if they can't come to an agreement and Martin hits free agency and signs somewhere else, the Rangers would get a pick from somewhere before, you know, somewhere in the 35 to 45 range. Right. And they probably could would value that pick more than they could get in a trade from right now. He's a rental. Right. You know, and, and while he has his great ERA and is winning and, and, and that's the name of the game, you know, people look maybe at his strikeouts and like, oh, well, he doesn't strike enough guys out, you know, and, and stuff like that. Uh, very nitpicky stuff. If, if winning is your your only interest, yeah, it would seem that we're holding Perez the other team be, down uh, to so many pretty, runs would be a pretty good uh, pretty good one to to, to have. Uh, I, I don't know if, if anything will get worked out with with um, the Rangers and Perez. Um, you know, you know how negotiations go. You do it for a living, and yep. um, you know, I think that uh, they're far apart now. Maybe maybe there might be some give, um, especially if he goes out and. You know, this month goes 4-0 with a 2 ERA. The Rangers should be kicking themselves and be like, we don't want him to get the free agency. Yep. When you look at the left-handed, left-handed pitchers there in free agency, if, if this stays as is, if he right. holds holds his course here, hold, you know, he's going to be the best free agent. Left-hander. Unless Rodon uh, opts out. Right. Okay, so he's going to be the second best left-hander. He's still going to get... Uh, a very attractive offer. Martin Perez doesn't turn 32 until April 4th. Yep. Uh, he's got some some years left. He knows how to pitch. And again, this might be the the this might be the best he pitches. But there's a chance he also gets better. And yep. I think the Rangers would be foolish to to give up on that. Okay. So then let's go this way. Let's say they make no significant moves. Maybe Matt Moore. Maybe that's the only person they trade. 
Uh, they don't trade uh, Martin, which, by the way, I've always said the price of Martin goes up closer to the deadline when some team gets desperate. That's the way they, he gets moved. Someone gets desperate. They want to get somebody at the last minute. Maybe they do throw somebody out that the yeah. Rangers go, oh, you know, because I've always said, yeah, it may piss off Martin, uh, but money money talks, and if you money with him coming back for next year, you can still get him back. Sure. So anyway, but barring that, what's this lineup look up like come Friday? Are there anybody that's uh, DFA? People that might, you know, um, I don't know. I, I think I think the bullpen right now. We, we obviously you saw what happened on the road trip, and, and even the, the week before the All Star break. Um, you know, ba basically they're they're working with a, what is a seven man bullpen. Right. They, ju they just don't let Garrett Richards pitch. Right. Um, I don't I don't know if there's uh, a lot of a lot of value in carrying Garrett Richards on your roster. No. Nope. Um, you know, there, and it's not like there are a ton of options at AAA. Yuri Rodriguez is a name that, that that's talked about. Chase Lee was a guest on our, our show. Um, you know, a guy who's, who's if you look at his area, you're like, oh my God. But if you look at his last like, several, you know, couple couple three four weeks, it's pretty good. Um, but I think I think where the Rangers are, are getting into trouble is they have a lot of guys who they want to give rest to. They don't want to pitch on back to back days, and so you fall into a situation where in, uh, you know, Saturday night in Anaheim, Matt Bush, Matt Moore, and pitched, you know, two straight games, they're not going to pitch again. Uh, Brock Burke, they feel like, is better on two days rest, which, right. he, showed, which he did show Sunday. Um, not having not having another guy who can go back to back is, is a problem. Yeah. Um, you know, Dennis Santana can do it, but right now, you don't want to pitch Dennis Santana in lower situations. Same thing with Brett Martin right now. So, uh, I, I think if there are changes made, it would be to the bullpen. Uh, are there guys that could be DFA? Probably, um, but uh, I, so not, you don't not, see like a Cal I, Calhoun I or a Culperson. I don't think they're going to do a full, uh, you know, tryout mode like like they did last year. They still are trying to to learn how to win, teach guys how to win, and and, and stripping down the the roster doesn't accomplish that because you're bringing up guys who are. Who are already going to be up to their neck in water, and, and it, it rises pretty quick if you struggle. Yeah. All right. Well, the Orioles are here for. And Kumar Rocker is here. Yes, he was. We or saw him Kumar. down there. Uh, yeah, he's he's going to have his press conference on Thursday. He's here. Brock Porter Friday. Yeah. Uh, They're Kumar. probably going out to Arizona after that. Kumar's already been to Arizona. Okay. Porter will be going after uh, after Friday. Um, any word yet on Kamar? Is he going to pitch somewhere? I would assume he would they're not, eventually. They're not saying anything. So I guess Thursday's the the big reveal. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but anyway, he's here. He's, yeah. He's a big guy. He Holy is a cow. big boy. Yeah, he's a big, big fella. And, and in uh, shape. I tell you yeah, what. He looks good. Um, very happy, obviously. He looks very talkative with the guys. Uh, Wouldn't talk to anyway, us because we're not allowed yet. Yeah, but today's the signing deadline for uh, for draftees and the Rangers are going to sign 13 of their 18 or right. five that aren't signed. And the rule of, if any of those guys go to a junior college is the yeah. Rangers retain their rights. The new uh, draft and follow thing yeah, they're the, going the back to. draft and follow is back. And uh, so that's interesting. That'd be interesting to see. But they wouldn't be able to sign them until after the junior college season. Exactly. Year. All right. I think uh, that's. No, no, not yet. Okay. RangerCity.com, $5.99 a month, $60, $60 a year. A real popular option here uh, the last couple weeks has been the, the 35 for six months. For six months. Had a lot, of, not a lot of people, but we've had more people do that than have, have done it in the past. So that's an option for you. And then, definitely get you through the rest of the year and into the winter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, what is today? Today's August 1st, and that gets you to February 1st. Absolutely. So gets you through the whole right, off right when spring training's coming, yeah, if you yeah, want to do another half year. And then um, also be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're, we're approaching 700. It's been a it's been a slow march to from six to seven hundred, uh, but we need to get to a thousand. So, Absolutely, uh, you guys, chop chop. All Appreciate right, guys, it. another big show coming up this week. We had Nathaniel Lowe on last week. We we've, we've got a couple guys possibly lined up. Yeah. Till then, see you at the yard. All right.